Yeah, we're Charles. Hello there, kids and kittens. My name is Andrew, but on the internet, people call me Duggan. We're making chicken rendang today. We're starting the video. Noise. Today's chicken has the date of the 1st of October. Today is the 28th of September. Sensational! Yeah, that's probably the wrong point for the intro, intro point there. However, today, kids and kittens, we're making chicken rendang. Nope. Sorry, I could Indonesian style chicken rendang. However, I might do the green beans except from the basmati rice. That way the jills get to have some rice. My god, they go so crazy over fucking rice. First things first. Or if you ever watch Jockey, the, the Jockey Chan, the Jackie Chan cartoons. One more thing! Chipotle paste. Chicken. Almost three times as much as what I actually need. Freak garlic. <laughs> no, that's not garlic. That's baby corn. And red Thai curry paste. Green beans. I need 80 grams of green beans. I got 200 grams of green beans. Something to make it Irish, even though it's second Belgian beer. And salt. So, I think I'll do some. I'm gonna modify the. Um, careful, I'm modifying the recipe here. I will do the green beans separate from the rice itself. I'll do that with a bit of mustard seed, I think. That way I get to keep some rice, keep back safe for tomorrow, and make myself some uh, nazi garang. Which reminds me, I hope you kids and kittens have watched the awesome video by Uncle Roger. So if you don't watch it, Uncle Roger will be very sad. It all started with him reacting to Andy Hersher making egg fried rice and the plot line or punchline being, What? You drain the rice? How is your rice that wet that you need to drain it? And then the second bit, obviously, once you drain the rice, Andy Hersher then rinse the rice under the tap, making it wet again. This makes Uncle Roger very sad. <laughs> I'll include a link for it. If I forget to include, include a link for anything, please, please, please do harass me about it because sometimes I do forget and life gets him away. But I highly recommend Uncle Roger. He's number one person I watch on the internet, aside from political commentary, just saying. Which brings me to today's political pokes box. Oh yeah, garlic is what I was going for. Oh, and a good, uh, okay, fish sauce. That's you. Fish sauce. Or fish sauce. Oh, my bad. You can sell. Oh, son of a did Oh, thank God. Okay, nothing drastically broke there. Uh, coconut, share cardamom pods, garlic, chicken. Yeah, okay, I've got enough. I've got plenty there. So I heard something go clang. It was obviously my uh, Gardens by the Bay fridge magnet, courtesy of Singapore. Which takes me around to sort of where I was going to do this. People have been hearing Boris Johnson doing some really crazy shit recently. I'm going to wash my hands. Not as stupid. Well, maybe not the Python code, obviously. That, 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 that Python code's really good in my pitch. Cheers, my boy. Remember, kids drink responsibly. Mmm. Yep, that, that works for me. So. Boris Johnson recently has been doing some really wacky shit. More so than usual. I dread to think whatever would happen, obviously, I've not Nigel Farage at the head of food table. Food table? Food chain. <coughs> We've recently had an announcement that obviously. That's a message. Don't need all that. Recently, we have had an announcement obviously, all pubs, restaurants, and crap will close at 10. That does not mean last order, that is that you are at the door at 10. That's what I said, it kept the extra noise. Now that was 300 grams of water, so I need basic math. Not basic math, not fast math. Accurate math. Always have accurate math. Feels like someone redeemed themselves, doesn't it? 300. Now, I'll go for the uh, school of method of cooking, or cooking rice, but obviously whatever mass you have of rice, you need this, you need double the mass in water. I have 300 grams of basmati rice. I'm putting in 600 grams of water. Just checking, I actually did pour volume. Ignition! Let that come to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn it to simmer. Start timer for 15 minutes or 10 minutes. You know, all the rice is reabsorbed. Then take off the heat. Let's sit with the lid on. Critical, that is. Or, as Uncle Roger says, buy a rice cooker. <laughs> you know, with veg. No, no, I'm going to use a green board. Red board for meat. Green board for veg. Don't mix the two up. Why? Well, kind of hard to mix those two up, even if you're colorblind. True story. Itch your nose. Let's put half of those on here. Keep the other half for tomorrow. Because I'm doing Nazi Garang tomorrow. Yes, I do appreciate two, two Indonesian dishes in one go. I've got the chicken rendang today and Nazi Garang tomorrow. But Boris Johnson doing wacko moves. Chris Whitty, this chief medical officer, has advised on a two week lockdown to let Track and Trace tra catch up because Track and Trace is just that behind right now. Obviously, powers that be don't want to do that because, well, I'll say conservative government, something sarcastic you know that. They do not like the idea of the actual, they never liked the, liked the idea of a lockdown in the first place. Rinse your greens, by the way. Noise! Conservative government never liked the idea of a lockdown, okay? They had to do it. They put, they were going to go for, let's keep the place open, like Sweden did. And we saw how fantastic Sweden handled the, uh, the 
blank, blank. The pandemic, one of, one of per, per, per death capita, one of the highest. So yeah, that, that was just handled just expertly, if you ask me. Green beans to one side. And the obviously then Boris Johnson and his crew, crew is saying, oh yeah, the, the, the track and trace has got an opacity, blah, blah, blah. We've now got the tracing app, which by the way, if you haven't got the, down, the tra track and trace app, there is one, okay? Actually, I'm gonna say, if you're watching this in the UK, there is an NHS approved track and trace. So full transparency, it's not the National Health Service doing it. It's a private company called Circa, and they've messed up many things along the way, but they still have the contract. If, it were, if this was anything else, if, it was an, if this was a reliable government, the contract would have gone elsewhere ages ago. Since the Tories just uh, donate to people that, keep, that give contracts of like million pound contracts to their buddies who donated to the party, is it any wonder at the moment? So, but I'm doing the start on dinner. Boris is doing something wacky with regards to everything. I think the, the annoying thing is, obviously, I have now met one person who says, Well, Boris is doing an okayish job. You know, what's what's the worst? Well, what could have anyone else done? Thinking, Look at every other country. Well, exception, obviously, of uh, Brazil and ooh, uh, America. So, just basically ignore the American Isles, virtually anyone else has done a better job than Great Britain. We, we, we ourselves have the highest death count in Europe, not the highest per capita, mind, you know, look at Sweden. Um, however, we have a much higher portion of people here, and from what we're tracing, or testing, we're not tra testing enough in my opinion, people are then having, ooh, there, rice has now started to simmer, there, started a 10 minute timer, so go ping, when it's 10 minutes in. So, there's numerous stories of people not being able to get tests done, which always baffled me in one respect, how somehow Nigel Farad got a test after he went to America just so he could have the first pint when the pubs reopen at his local, despite breaching quarantine technically. Quarantine says he has to be self-isolated for 14 days after coming back from any country that has a higher R value than we do. His justification to the libtards, but I had a test. That isn't what the guidelines say. Unfortunately, they're just guidelines. They're not rules. But last week, hang on, last week or two weeks ago, you know, Keir Starmer couldn't attend Prime Minister's questions, so hence Boris Johnson thought he had a respite for a moment. <laughs> Angela Thamey went to town on Boris Johnson instead. So. But all of these moves that they do with regards to the track and trace and uh, you know, all these extra restrictions and basically putting UK under special lockdown. Uh, they don't actually do lockdown, lockdown. They're saying, we're going to do these restrictions, blah, 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 freedom, blah, 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 fines. I don't think they can find everybody. I don't think they, I don't think they have enough police to find everybody itself. Now, it's not a challenge to say, go and, go and break the rules. You can't be fined because they can't arrest us all. They'll arrest enough of us. But at the same time, if they want to maintain law and order, the next step we're going to have to do is they're going to have to consider deploying the army. Because ironically, one of the things about the Tory government, they have underfunded the police force. We have lost almost 20,000 police officers because of Tory budget cuts, okay? I know every single time that they then said, oh, we're gonna put more police on the street and, and they give us a number. <coughs> it's still less than the number we lost initially. <coughs> Sorry, not COVID, I think. Rice is five minutes away from being done here. Well, on the, on the whole, at least. Then you take it off the heat and let it just stew for its own met metaphorical juices. But I always cook rice first because it takes the longest to do in my opinion. Wrap this up in a moment here. I hope you kids and kids are staying safe and staying safe. When you next see me, ask me how my shed's doing. If you enjoy this kind of shit, hit like as well. It really helps the channel out.